So as a follow on to the last video, this is another one of these uh, remote control mains power units which has developed a fault. So, uh, so you can see on here I've sometime written a question mark on here because this was not working correctly. And in this case what happens is the relay does click. Uh, but then it randomly can switch itself off. So I was doing some tests this morning and it does actually switch the power on to the whatever's plugged into the socket. But then sometime later, maybe a couple of minutes later, you hear the click of the relay and the LED is still lit, but the unit's not providing power to the device any longer. So I think the capacitor's bad in here, but it's a slightly different behavior to what I was getting with the other unit, which was total failure. So I thought I would just um, get the multimeter out and measure the capac capacitance value, and then we can see what's going on here. Uh, so if I select capacitance, There we go, so it's reading nanofarads at the moment. Uh, the cap is over here. So it's reading Hundred and forty three nanofarads, hundred and forty three, and so this is meant to be point three three microfarads, which is three hundred and thirty nanofarads. So this is approximately half the value that we expect, which m maybe indicates why it's a little bit intermittent. So maybe the voltage here is. Uh, on the edge of what the relay can tolerate. Okay, so we removed the cap and cleaned up the circuit now. Uh, so now that the cap's out of the circuit, I'm going to measure it again. And because um, sometimes the circuit interferes with the value. So 137 nanofarads, which is less than half, really less than half of the expected capacitance value. So this, this component has gone bad. So let's just mark that, make sure I don't get confused. And like the last one, fit a replacement cap.
So there we are, the new capacitor is in place on the board and uh, all that's needed now is to make a test. All right, so testing time. Let's plug this unit in. And number two. Okay, so it's responding to the controls, that's good. But um, this had a particular fault that it would switch itself off after a short time. So let's just switch that on and um, we'll leave that for a couple of minutes and make sure that it stays working. Okay, well that seems good. So it's uh, it's staying on when it's switched on. I can switch it on and off on control number two. So I think that's a success.